Hey everybody, this is Peter with Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today we're going to take a look at a role-playing game that I'm very intrigued by. It's called Yazeba's Bed and Breakfast, and it is being published by Possum Creek Games. Uh, it's, it's intrigued to me because it is a legacy tabletop role-playing game. I've never heard of those two things being put together before. So obviously tabletop role-playing game, we're going to get our friends around a table uh, or a digital table at this point in, in the world. There's a lot of people who play game, these games online um, or in person, and uh, you're going to be playing the game together and you're going to be role-playing characters. Uh, the difference here is that now this has the legacy aspect to it. And if you've ever played a legacy board game, something like Legacy Pandemic, uh, you play multiple sessions. And depending on how the what the outcome was of one session, it will affect the future sessions that you play. Uh, you can unlock chapters, you can unlock characters. Uh, and so it's going to be very a very different experience. The other part of it that's really different for me is in most role-playing games, you create your own character and you journey with them through the game, uh, growing them usually with experience points or something like that, unlocking new and different abilities. This game has pre-made characters and they are called residents. And these residents live at Yazeba's Bed and Breakfast. Um, you're not creating your own characters. You're playing these characters and any guest who comes to the bed and breakfast you don't even have to play the same character each session. Uh, you may play Gertrude one session, or you may play Sal the next session. And as you play these characters, you get a chance to see the world of the bed and breakfast from different viewpoints. So again, some very unique aspects to this game from any other role-playing game that I've ever played before. So like I said, very interested, very intrigued. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you because they have released a free PDF that anyone who wants to go to the Indiegogo page for this uh, campaign, you can download the free PDF and see a little bit about the game, how it's going to be played, what the ideas behind it are. Um, we're going to go through that real quickly, just briefly. Uh, just to give you a, an overview, an idea of the game. But again, this is a free PDF. Anybody can download it if they would like to. And I'll show you the Indiegogo page before we sign off so that you can see where you can download this PDF for yourself if you decide to. So let's go ahead and share the screen. And now you should be seeing the PDF uh, for Yuzeba's Bed and Breakfast. Uh, the, this game, like all the other games that I've seen so far from Possum Creek Games, uh, Wonder Home, and, uh, and others, are very uh, poetic and lyrical in their writing. And that is a lot to do with uh, Jay Dragon's uh, writing style, who is one of the creators for the games for Possum Creek Games. Uh, at least I'm assuming it's, it's mostly their writing, um, Jay's writing but there are a lot of other writers on the game as well. All of them have, all of these games have this very poetic feel. So I'm gonna read this opening so that you get a little bit of a feel for the game as well. It says, once upon a time, the world was cruel and there was a witch who knew it well. And so she sold her heart away and built a house in the woods where the world could never find her. At first she would let no one into her fortress, but in the long march of days, a strange thing happened. In her own cold and spiteful way, the witch made a friend, and then another, and then several more, until her house was teeming with colorful faces and complicated lives. The house would come to be known as Yazeba's Bed and Breakfast, and it would last for a very long time. So again, their games uh, from Possum Creek Games have very unique feels to them. Um, this one is kind of a little bit of a mix of like a Studio Ghibli anime kind of feel to it for me. Anyways, if you've seen any any of the movies like Howl's Moving Castle or Spirited Away, that might give you a little bit of an idea, the feel I think they're going for with this game. So we're given a page of narrative to introduce one of the characters. And then we're also given a page here introducing us to the residents 
of Yazeba's bed and breakfast. Because again, these are the characters that you and your fellow players would be embodying as you role play each of the sessions or the chapters as this game calls them. Uh, there's Gertrude, who is a teenage girl who ran away from home and at the moment sleeps atop the dryer in the laundry room. Uh, and then there is Sal, Hey Kid, Parrish, Amelia, or Amelie, I think it's Amelie, Yezeba, the Moon Prince, and then there are assorted guests. There are many guests at Yezeba's Ben and Breakfast, from the helpful rabbits in the garden who wear little outfits to the nefarious villain, Rag and Bones. We can meet them later, it says. So each of the characters have a short description here, but they also have their own uh, one to two page character sheet. I think they're just one page character sheets where you're given a list of different aspects for the characters to help you in your uh, role playing of them. So the game itself, uh, like I said, is broken up into chapters. And again, this is a legacy game. So there are a handful or more chapters that are immediately available for you and the players to play through. The chapters are given a about a two page description, setting up the scenario. And then it's on you as the players of the game to enact that scenario, that chapter. And depending on how well it goes or how you play it, there will be rules specific to the chapter, letting you know whether you unlock new chapters or new characters to play in further sessions. Um, there is the, uh, the person who's known as the concierge, uh, and that is the person who keeps the book and makes sure, makes sure that if you've unlocked anything, that that has been noted. Um, and then there are um, bingos and whoopsies, which you will see on the character sheets for the different characters. And those are kind of seen as positive and negative strengths for those characters. And so those I'm sure will come up and play in the different chapters also. So we have the residents, we've talked about those, the guests who may show up as well guests will be played by you, the players also. So here, there's no one person who is like the game master of the game. There is the concierge who's kind of keeping track of the bookkeeping stuff, but that doesn't mean that they're the game master. Everyone is equally playing this game together. Um, and you will choose between the residents who you want to play that session. Maybe you play Gertrude one session and then you play Sal the next session. Um, and then the guests can be played by multiple players as well, or a single player, however your party decides to play the game. Um, so the PDF goes through about explaining the character sheets. It explains again, like we just talked about picking the chapters that you're going to be playing. Um, and then there is a, a couple pages here uh, with some safety tools when playing the game. Um, it says here that there's no wrong way to play, except that you're going to have fun. You know, you want to have fun playing the game. So no wrong way to play the game. All rules are the same. Even the rules in this book are just like bedtimes or calendars. It says you can just ignore them if it makes you happy. So this is kind of a very loose game, right? You know, the rules are not hard and heavy. There's no rolling dice in this game. You are... This is probably one of the most strict when it comes to you're just role playing, right? Like I say strict is the wrong word. You are role playing. You are playing roles in this game. You are given by the chapter a scenario and an idea of what is going to happen. And then you just enact it. You role play with your friends. Um, I can see some people maybe having difficulty getting their head into that space. Um, especially if you're like me, if you come from a, a, a role-playing history of mostly playing Dungeons and Dragons, uh, where you roll dice and you have combat, uh, and there is some role-playing sometimes, but it, it's you sometimes you just want to get past it, depending on your your group. This game is is all about role-playing um, and kind of getting into that headspace. So I'm very excited about it, but it's also uh, kind of daunting to think about sometimes because it's not something I've ever done before, um, but it does intrigue me and I'm looking forward to getting a chance uh, to playing it. So I think that's most of what I wanted to go over here in the PDF because again, it's, it's free and available for anyone to download and take a look at. The rules themselves 
are, are just like the first 15 pages of the PDF. That's it. 15 pages uh, explaining the game. And then after that, you have your character sheets for the different residents. Then you have some descriptions of some of the guests who may also arrive, depending on which chapter you and your group decides to play. Uh, and then there are sheets for those guests. And then there are available here eight chapters that if you wanted to, just by downloading this, get a group together and, tr and try to play the game. Now, if you're still having a hard time grasping the actual play of the game, there are some videos on YouTube that Possum Creek Games and some other creators have put out there of actual play of this game. Uh, so maybe you're like me and you learn better by seeing a visual example. Well, those are available out there for you now. Uh, to watch. If you like watching uh, actual plays of role-playing games, you can just go to YouTube, search Yazeba's Bed and Breakfast actual play, and you'll see uh, that those are available right now for you if you would like. But again, there's these eight chapters that you can play and get a feel for the game itself. And I believe that that's going to be most of what is in here. Each of these chapters looks to be about two to three pages long. Um, and then it does show us here that there are some locked materials in the free PDF as well. So there are four more chapters that if you unlock them by playing the earlier chapters, uh, you can unlock them and continue playing. There's some more, uh, guests who can get unlocked as well. And you'll see here again, they've got the little locked symbol by their names or by their chapter titles. And that lets you know that, hey, this is locked until you have unlocked it by playing a, an earlier portion of the game. And then that is everything that is here in this initial free PDF. But the game book is going to be rather large. There are going to be tons of chapters, uh, lots of chances to play. Each chapter is supposed to be able to be played in as little as 60 minutes to 90 minutes. So possibly an hour to hour and a half, um, you know, I always give myself a little extra time, probably two hours, but even that for a role-playing game, those are pretty short sessions. Um, so I personally like the idea of this game. I don't know about you, you know, mention in the comments below what you think about just the, this idea uh, for a role-playing game. Um, I'm going to real quickly go ahead and share my screen again, and I want to show you the, uh, the Indiegogo page. Let me see if I can stop that share and then share my screen again and now share the Indiegogo page. So here's the Indiegogo page. If you are interested in checking that out, um, you can see already here that it is fully backed. Uh, this is a game that will be released. They are saying that they're estimating shipping of the physical items for the game at August 2023. So that's that's a over a year from now, um, but they do state in the game itself or in the on the Indiegogo page that this is hopefully not going to take quite as long as that, but they're giving themselves, themselves quite a bit of leeway uh, with the publishing, the way that it's going right now and the shipping and everything with the way that that's going uh, today. Um, you can get the game uh, with the book, if you would like, but you also see here that they mentioned that there is a digital version of the game. Um, and this is something that's also very, very different. The digital version is going to be produced by one more multiverse, uh, which is like, it, they, they make little games that look like eight pixel games, eight little pixelated games. Um, if you've played any of those uh, in the past, and the idea here is that they've created the world of Yazeba's Bed and Breakfast on that platform with all the characters and everything. And you can get on there with your friends and play the session out on the computer in that game world. So if you're playing over Discord, rather than just having to imagine the world, they are pixelating the world of Yazeba's Bed and Breakfast. And if you back the game, uh, with for the digital edition, you will be able to access that as well. Um, so here on the Indiegogo page, I wanted to point out again, is the free play kit available now? That's what we've been looking through previously, the PDF that they made available to us. 
There's some really cool art uh, on here to kind of show you what the residents are uh, going to look like according to the uh, the Indiegogo page and their PDFs. So these are some, I, I love the art. I love the art for this game. It's very whimsical. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, so I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you. Um, I just, I've become very excited by the idea of this game. I wanted to share it with all of you. I know I've been rambling on and on uh, about it now for a little bit, but hopefully uh, I'm introducing you to the idea of a, of a di very different game uh, or a game that just sounds right up your alley. So uh, I hope you are as interested and as intrigued by it as I am. If you have any thoughts about it, you know, share them in the comments below. I'd love to talk to you all what you think about this game. Do you think this is a game you would enjoy or absolutely not, or why and why not? Um, if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a like or a subscribe, you know, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know your thoughts. And uh, until we talk again, everybody else, keep on playing games.